Welcome to the very first uh, DDT After Hours. And today's topic, as you saw on the, uh, the title, is Worst Buddy Dive Ever. But let me paint the picture. You ready? So, a uh, dive site is called uh, Osazaki. It's on the west coast of the Izu Peninsula. You're, you're maybe seeing some maps here. And uh, in that dive site, you can see this map. It's a really cool, like it's a, a peninsula. And uh, there's an inside, there's a point, and then there's the outside. And the outside points at Mount Fuji. And when it's really calm, it looks like this. Uh, when, it's, when it's rough and it's exposed, it's exposed, fully exposed. When it's exposed, it looks like this. Yeah, you get the picture. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a very gradual drop-off, but if you really, really went out there, the maximum depth is something like two kilometers. It's, it's really deep out there. I used to have big dive weekends, people all over the place all the time, dive masters everywhere. And, you know, I was either teaching or walking the perimeter. So this one time I was, one event, I was walking the perimeter and I can't remember why exactly, but I had some, I, I decided to walk on the outside and, and check on the group on the outside. I can't remember why, it's a long time ago maybe seven years, I don't know. It might have been because uh, the outside, the conditions could kick up really suddenly because they're exposed. So the, the inside, inside that peninsula that you saw a picture of is protected from wind, it's protected from waves, like in almost typhoon conditions, you might be able to dive inside that bay. But on the outside, slightest condition, it is open ocean exposure out there. Um, so things kick up really fast. Compounding that fact from this picture, you can see that there are some definite entry points. And if you don't come in, those exit entry points, between those points are just boulders. Scraggly boulders with barnacles and sharp edges and, and waves washing in on you, smashing you into the boulders. Smash, smash, right? It's, it's a terrible, terrible situation. You need to come up at the entry exit points. And even those points get hairy some years. They get washed out by typhoons, they get destroyed, but they're your best bet. You don't want to come in anywhere other than those points. So I go out there and uh, I see this, this group walking in. And in that group, I, I remember specifically that I had one member who was new-ish. And uh, you know, so I was kind of protective of him. And uh, so I was a little concerned. Also, that person's buddy was someone who likes to take a lot of pictures. I don't know about you. But if you have experience with a buddy who, who takes a lot of pictures and is kind of dedicated to the photography of the dive, I think a diver can only really dedicate themselves to either their photography or their buddy. It's very difficult to dedicate to both, my experience. Your mileage may vary. So I'm there, the group comes walking up that rocky slope, right? One of the good points. And, uh, you know, it's, I could see it's, it's waving up out there. It's looking a little bit ugly. And uh, this diver, who was the photographer, I'll call him uh, Diver X, right? Diver X. So Diver X is walking up and walking up the slope. And I notice that Diver X is uh, absent a buddy, the buddy I was telling you about that I was concerned about. And I was like, I was like looking around. I was like looking in the water. Maybe he didn't come out yet. I was like, dude, Diver X, where's your buddy? And Diver X is like, uh, I don't know about that, but hey, did you see these pictures I took? Check it out. Look at this one. I was like, Grr. what the actual bleep? And I'm like, Diver X has no buddy. And dude, I look, I look down the rocky, forbidden, wave crashing shoreline down there. And way down there, I see like, like one of those Galapagos lizards, like scrambling on the rocks. I see the missing buddy like a half a kilometer down there, 400 yards, a half a kilometer for sure, half a kilometer, s scrambling out of the water like, like a creature like in need, man. And no equipment, so, which was my rental equipment, it probably, you know, had ditched it so he, he could get up on the beach and he's just scrambling up on the rocks. And I look back at Diver X and Diver X is still like, You see, you see that picture, check it out, isn't that cool? Look at that, I've never seen that before, have you? Look at that. I was like, worst damn buddy dive ever. And I was, I didn't, I didn't have a drink at that moment, but in my mind, I was just like, excuse me. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing that turns your, your dive master's hair gray and it causes instructors to like lose years of their life. It's that kind of thing. Anyway. 
thought I'd share that with you. Why don't, why don't you put down below? I'm very curious. Your worst buddy dive ever. Give it to me. Let me hear it. Okay. See you next time.